Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is all about Feedly and we are going to do a tutorial on Feedly for beginners. In this video, we're going to talk about what Feedly is, what are its features and benefits. We'll show you the sign up and account setup processes. We'll also show you how to follow a topic and website, how to create a board. And lastly, we will also do a walkthrough of the interface. So there's quite a lot going on in this video. Make sure to watch it till the end. As the name suggests, Feedly is all about feeds. Every individual has interests in some or the other industry, genre and topic. And in order to stay updated with our interests, we stay updated by following blogs, subscribing to the newsletters and also following people related to that particular topic on social media. But then sometimes it happens that there is too much sound and noise and we miss out on critical updates. Well, that's where Feedly steps in. Because it's a secure space where you can organize everything you want to follow, you can research on topics and as well as stay updated with the latest trends in things that matter to you. It lets you get the news you want all under one roof. If you're an existing member of Feedly, you can just click the login button and sign in. But if you're a new member, then you go ahead and click on get started. This is the sign up page where you can see that you can create an account using your Google, Apple, Twitter or Microsoft account. Or you can go ahead and simply use your email address, which is the option we're going ahead with. After filling in all the required fields, if there is any capture, you can solve it to confirm that you're not a robot. And once you get the green tick, you can click on get started. Next, you will be taken to three steps that you need to complete in order to go to your feed. This is step number one, where you'll be asked, what do you want to use Feedly for? As you can see, there are two options here. One is the personal option and then there is the work option. Under the work option, you can see there are so many things for which you can use Feedly, like cyber threat intelligence, competitive intelligence, tech innovation, consumer insights, sales enablement, content curation and more. Since we're going to use Feedly for our personal use, we're going ahead with the personal option. This takes you to step number two, where again there's a question and that is what's your initial goal for using Feedly? As I said, we all have different purposes. Since our interest is personal, we are going to just click on follow blogs and newsletters. If you want to use Feedly to stay updated with topics that you are currently researching on, then you will click the second option, which is research topics. If you just want to stay updated with the latest trends like fashion, lifestyle, etc., then you will click on the third option called spot new trends. Monitor cyber threats is for people who want to monitor cyber threats as said. And then there's the other option as well. We're going ahead with the first option and this will take you to your dashboard or basically your field. It might take some time to load. And once it is ready, you will see that this is your dashboard. Basically, this is where you'll see all the feeds. Since we have not set up anything, this feed is empty. Let's first do a quick walkthrough of the interface. Now we have icons over here on the left side. The first icon is where you can select trends and topics using Leo Web Alert. The second icon is where you can follow websites, Twitter, Reddit and newsletters. The third icon is where you can switch between themes. As you can see, this is the night theme and then this is the day. And then you have the icon for new features. And lastly, there is the learn and get support icon. On the same left side, if you just go down, you will see the profile icon and clicking on it will give you access to pages of settings, organize feeds, pricing, mobile apps, browser add-ons, support, privacy, terms and policy, and finally, there's also the logout option. On the right side, this is where you will see your feeds. As I said, we have not subscribed to anything or followed any page, so it is empty. In order to build your feed, you first need to create a folder. So go ahead and click this button called create a folder. Here, enter the topic of your choice. I'm going to enter skincare because that's what interests me. And if you click the save button, you will see that a folder with that name will be created right over here. And since we have not followed anything yet, this feed is empty. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the track topics button over here because we need to add something. Market Intel is the page that will show you the latest things that are happening in different industries. 
And if you go to Threat Intel, you will get all the different types of threats that can happen online. Going back to our skincare feed, which is basically empty. So we need to add something here. And that's where this button comes in to play. And we're going to click on it, which is follow website. Over here, you have three options to add a topic to any of the folders that you create on the left side. The first option is by searching by topic. And so I'm going to just search by skin care. But since this is a very broad keyword, you will get different kinds of topics and also from different websites, which will take time for me to sort through so I can do it when I have enough time. But since I want a particular website that I am interested in, I will use the second mode of searching, which is through website. So this is a beauty blogger I follow and it is related to skincare. I'm just going to copy the address and place it over here. And you can see that it appears right over here. To add anything to a folder that you've created on the left side, you just need to hit this follow button. And clicking that button will open this collapsible menu where you can see the folders you have created. Since I've created only one, which is skincare, it is appearing here. If you want to create a new folder, just hit this button. I want to add Caroline Hirons to skincare. And so I'm going to click the add button over here. And you can see it has been added over here. There is a number marked over here, which means there are four updates from this website. So that's how you will create folders under the feed section. The next thing you can do is create a board, which basically helps you save insightful articles to boards for reference or sharing later on. Now let's go ahead and create a board. You need a title for your board. I'm going to go ahead and type in makeup tips. Give a small description. If you want this board to be public or basically you want to give access to people to this board, then you can switch this on. Currently, I'm putting it off. Go ahead and then take the create button. And you will see this is the board. Since I've not saved anything yet, it is empty. So that was the second option of how you can add things to your folders. The last option is RSS link. Now, this is a website that I follow, which is Fira, but there is no RSS link over here or button over here. And this is something I keep myself updated with. So for such websites, if you want to get the RSS link, all you need to do is right click and go to paid source. In the paid source, you can click on Control or Command F and type in RSS in capitals, hit the enter button and you will see this. So this is where your RSS feed will come from. Copy this address, go back to your Feedly page and click on Control or Command V and you can see it has appeared over here. So we can add this to our list of feeds. Now I want to create a new folder and what I want to create is not in the suggestion. So I'm going ahead and typing cruelty free beauty and hit the create button. So if you want to view your feed for the day, you can go ahead and click on the today tab here up, up over here and you will see what updates are there for the day from the things that you follow in makeup and cruelty free beauty and skincare. So this is all about Feedly, how you can use it, what is its purpose and how you can organize your feeds in it. We truly hope this video has benefited you. If it did, then do let us know in the comments below. If there is any other topic that you'd like a video on, then just let us know in the comment section and we'll try our best to make that as well. We'll see you soon in our next video. Till then, don't forget to stay tuned and hit that subscribe button.